What is up guys, McDoubles back again with a brand new video. Today we're going to be playing Stormborn, which is an awesome, awesome melee lightning hybrid. You could almost say Enhancement Shaman, but it's more. And I'm really excited to give it a try. We're going to be jumping on our Agi based character, going 1 to 70, and seeing if we can pump some massive numbers with this theory crafted build. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. Let's get into it. <laughs> Hey guys, before we start the video, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification. Apparently a lot of YouTubers got a bug in the last week or so. Uh, I say a bug, we know it's always happening on YouTube for some reason as the algorithm works, it's magic. But uh, a lot of people aren't getting notifications for the channel. So if you don't want to miss anything, because we've always got the whole saga of Project Ascension happening over here, make sure to once again subscribe, smack the bell icon so you always get a notification. And yeah, let's get into the video. I want to go ahead and show you guys what abilities I started with. I have Earth Shock, Lightning Bolt, Lightning Shield, and Charge. And I'm going to be going for a Stormborn build. We've never played this on the channel, but it is going to be a melee hybrid, which is something I love to play. And it's going to work with Elemental Mastery, Shamanistic Rage, Lightning Bolt, Chain Lightning, and Storm Strike, just to make it clear. Here's what it does. Elemental Mastery increases melee haste by 15% and cuts the cooldown of Storm Strike in half. While Elemental Mastery or Shamanistic Rage are active. Storm Strike does additional nature damage to all enemies in front of me. This is known, by the way, for it being a very good AoE spec, but I need it to pull good single targets for me to feel happy with it, so that's going to be a main goal. In addition to everything else we've said, the damage of Lightning Bolt and Chain Lightning is increased by 20% of your AP, and your Lightning Shield orbs are increased by 10% of your AP. So, of course, having the Lightning Shield is super important, because what we're going to end up doing is going into the Enhancement Shaman Tree, pick Picking up the static shock talent and shooting our opponent with lightning shield orbs whenever we attack. That's going to be really, really big. So I've got some plans for this. I think it's going to be fun. We have the skill cards, Shamanistic Rage, Elemental Mastery, Arcane Power, and Seal of Vengeance carded. And for the lucky cards, I'm hoping to get things like Rampage, Rockbiter Weapon, Storm Strike, Bloodthirst, Whirlwind, and Chain Lightning. And yes, I really do actually want the uh, Whirlwind and the Bloodthirst. I have a weird theory craft I'd like to at least try. Rockbiter, a little bit of a sad consolation prize. Ultimately, I think this build might be better with Frostbrand, but I don't have access to a Frostbrand card, so it's not testable. I don't even know if Flame Tongue is better than Rockbiter, but Rockbiter is a safe bet, because I do have some ideas, as you can see with the Bloodthirst and Whirlwind, for more AP scaling uh, parts of the build. And everything does scale with AP with this build, with the Stormborn specifically, so I think it's a good idea. Alright guys, we are level 63 right now. I've already got one fight. I can put it up on the screen. I got into a few other fights, but they weren't really worth showing. One definitely was, and that person's out there right now, and they're like, Dude, that was McDoubles? Yeah, man, it was me, GG. Oh, God, I wish I had recorded it. Jesus, I'm sorry, guys, but I thought the story was better than nothing. So anyway, we're looking for somebody to fight. Now, I have not nailed a perfect build, guys, but I did want to boost up to TBC content because it is the BC expansion, so what's the point of 1 to 60, you know, dungeons when I can just jump right into out? land. We've got the things that you think we should have based on what I showed you at the beginning of the video. I got the Arcane Power, Elemental Mastery, and a Heal. We've got Lava Lash, Whirlwind, Bloodthirst, Lightning Bolt, Chain Lightning, Earth Shock, with a Blink spell guaranteed, and a Charge with Hammer of Justice and Blast Wave. You're already seeing a really nice open world spec. Shamanistic Rage, of course, with Lightning Shield, Seal of Vengeance, of course, with Rockbiter Weapon, and we nailed the Fort and the Battle Shout. Pretty good with Divine Shield as well. The only thing we don't have is Storm Strike. And my friends, I've already used 12,000 Marks of Ascension in my attempts to roll that spell. And I just was that unlucky. Even though it was a lucky card, and so I had a higher chance of getting it during my normal leveling from 1 to 62. So that's definitely a big F, right? But I've still concocted a weird build that I want to start with because we still have a high chance of rolling Storm Strike once we reach max. High is maybe the wrong word, but a decent chance, and if not, of course we have to re-roll. But I did want to go for something interesting, and I thought it was actually worth recording and showing you guys. I want to play Bloody Maelstrom. So I think this is probably awful because nobody talks about it, nobody has anything to say about it when I ask about it, and uh, I don't see it anywhere on the hero architect. Not to say it's not there, I just haven't seen it. This says consuming maelstrom weapon causes bloodthirst to do elemental damage to up to three nearby targets, turning bloodthirst effectively into an AoE spell, which could be pretty cool for dungeons and stuff like that. Or maybe for burst damage, if it does decent enough damage. They did actually cap it to three, which makes you think it might actually slap. So even though I don't have the storm strike, I can still whirl 
Whirlwind into the Bloodthirst for AoE damage and for hopefully burst. After getting a Chain Lightning off, you could see our little rotation there where I'm hitting, you know, a few targets at a time, but maybe for a lot of damage. I just want to see how it works. I've got my Earth Shock and my Lightning Bolts going off. Lava Lash, kind of a filler spell. Again, it's wonky, but it's interesting. I mean, who have you ever seen play something like this? Now, that's not it. I've got a few other things. Channeled Rage will help me regain my mana, and we got 3 out of 3 in Stormforged weapons, so 15% of my auto attacks will actually be nature, not physical. That's really cool, right? You don't see enough of that. And then we also have the wonderful Lightning Discharge, which says, after Lightning Bolting or Chain Lightning, I have a chance to supercharge my Lightning Shield, increasing the damage by 100% and making it stun my target for 1.5 seconds. I think this is a really, really good open world build, if I can find somebody to fight. Uh, you know, I'm a little undergeared, but not by any margin that should matter. I mean, level 48 stuff, but, uh, I mean, it could matter, but nowadays you see a lot less people try-harding the leveling process. They do exactly what I'm doing 9 times out of 10, which is they buy some random stuff Stuff that's just outland, you know, level from the auction house, the cheapest crap they can get their hands on, and they just go, you know, along the journey. It's, it's fine. It's good enough most of the time. So a lot of the fights are a lot better right now. The problem is finding players. So it's like, yeah, okay, the quality of your fights could potentially be a little bit more even. You know, you don't have to run for- Oh! Oh! That's a big boy! Dude, I'm gonna go for it. I can't be a wuss, man. I, I don't like that part of me sometimes. Whirlwind, Chain Lightning, Blink, Stun, Bloody Maelstrom. I have Stormborn on as my legendary. You didn't get to get to that. Can I proc it, please? Nope. Can I proc it, please? Do I not have it or something? You can see Stormbringer, actually, is what I'm using right now because I don't have the, you know, well, the effect of the Storm Strike for anything else that's good. It's just a slow and a little bit of extra damage, but maybe I can catch this guy. I think they just Shadow Melded. Yeah, I mean, it was a... <laughs> it was a long shot. Damn it, dude, that guy had so much more gear than me. Like, he had 9k plus HP, same level. I was actually shrekking that guy. That's actually, like, not good enough, but it's a really nice first impression. You can see, like, the build can slap, and of course, it's kind of on the back of the Maelstrom proc, but hey, look at this, guys. I have Lightning Blast up here, okay? I don't even know what that is exactly. Um, I also have Lightning Strike up here, which is, again, I don't really know what's going down. Lightning Shield did a surprisingly high amount of damage there. I threw so many orbs because I'm whirlwinding and stuff. I think it procs. I, I don't know, but I think it procs off it. I mean, let's read this real quick. So I, I'm just jumping in here, man. We did take static shock, like I said. 12% chance to hit my target with a lightning shield orb. That 12% chance is coming off any damage, apparently, I'm doing from melee attacks and abilities. Wow. So if I'm whirlwinding, for example, similar to how I'm assuming storm strike would work, it counts as two, which is an even higher chance. So you can kind of see if I had storm strike whirlwind, I'm getting so many lightning shield procs off. And if I I have storm strike by the way static shock continuously i mean i hope i don't use them that fast but it should continuously recharge the lightning shield so i never have to worry about it putting it at a pretty consistent you know six to nine charges maybe more or less so all right let's find somebody else this is actually pretty hype i'm not gonna lie oh yeah see ya bro instant chain lightning instant chain lightning come on bro Bro, how come I keep not proccing Stormbringer? I'm, I'm so mad. I'm so mad. No, 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 no. Where is it? Pursuit of Justice. Come on. I'm so mad. How come they keep getting away? All they have to do is run on their mount. That's so depressing. Dude, oh my god. Why play high risk? Oh my god. Dude, that is so intensely unlucky. I have so many different separate attacks going off, and to not proc my 50% slow, are you kidding me? So that is, uh, you could say, well, McDoubles, you know, it was just one fight, but it happened two times in a row. That's just raw unluckiness, especially when I'm telling you how rare it is to find people and how so desperately I wish both of those fights gave me XP and loot. I will say, though, it's just Enhancement Shaman mixed with some Warrior Talents right now to boost Bloodthirst and Whirlwind, and Furious Attacks to reduce healing, as well as anything I could get my hands on that gave me more AP. Man, am I not gonna find anybody else? Like, I can fight anybody right now. I'm currently a mercenary for hire, and I've already been screwed by this new system a couple times. That's because in the old days, you could just become evil anytime you wanted. It was called popping your criminal intent. And uh, so, okay, let's say I didn't, you know, think too hard about it. I go out into the world, I find a guy on my own team I want to fight, I could just pop the buff and attack him. Nowadays, you can't do that. You can only go mercenary mode in a capital city, which is so extra, man. But yeah, guys, I was just thinking, like, we just need to jump into some tbc content you know break out of the 1 to 60 for just a solid second man because uh that's what tbc is all about mag theradon slayer is available right now at max i have not created a build that i wanted to do that raid with yet uh but i will and maybe this is actually going to be it that could be really really sick <laughs> Oh. <laughs>
What? What? Alright, so we did find somebody, but uh, it was a pretty easy kill. You can see my bag is just full of garbage right now. I've, I've definitely got to find more fights, guys. Okay, so I was letting that dude get his uh, HP and mana up so we could have a 1v1, and uh, another dude appeared from behind, so we kind of had to start early, but yeah, he was honest with me too. He's like, I don't know if my build is good enough, but I'm gonna, you know, basically do what I did, which is play high risk against you anyway. I gotta say, he deserves all the respect in the world. We did kill him though, we got some decent loot as well, I'll definitely take that, and we got a 25 minute criminal blood on my hands debuff, which kind of sucks. The problem is that you can get from 60 to 70 so fast that outside of Hellfire Ramparts, there's never going to be anybody to fight. One of the things I really hope they bring back with Season 8 is just more open world stuff. I really do think, and I know you guys, a lot of you guys especially that actually play Ascension and are listening right now, you're not going to like this suggestion, I bet. But I actually think they should remove the 15 to 70 dungeon super fast leveling. I think it trivializes the leveling experience, kills the open world, and destroys high risk. It's too many negatives. The only positive is that I get to personally make a lot of characters for videos, but like if you're not doing videos, you don't make enough characters probably to care anyway, unless you're hardcore sweating it up for prestige gear, which I've done too by the way, so I'm not talking crap, I'm just making a statement, most people will never do it, it's pretty stupid to design around such a small percentage of people, yeah, I'd like to see... You know, maybe with Season 8, let's say it's Wrath. I don't know if it will be, but let's say it's Wrath. I hope 70 to 80, you know, probably takes a, at least a day. Just a day. I know some of you guys are thinking, dude, a day? You're begging for one day of open world PvP? Yes, that's all I freaking want. I don't know if that means they'd have to disable auras in dungeons, but I feel like the outcry would be too insane. They've dug themselves a hole, and that's the problem. Like, I, I think most people who think level-headed on this would be like, yeah, totally. Like, it's not healthy for the game. But then people who don't want to think level-headed on it, they just want, you know, things that benefit them in the game, and they don't really care about the health of the game or anything like that. They're going to be like, no, no, man, we got to keep this. It's the best. So I don't know, man. Okay, I just got the 70 and i just did so many re-rolls man i did not get the storm strike but once again as this unfortunately tends to be every other ability is perfect even though i did everything i basically could with the lucky card system so sometimes i wish when you reached max there was just one way just one way to guarantee just one ability because believe it or not i've been in this position too many times to where it's a coincidence so i guess we have to restart guys jesus christ i'm gonna go prestige and the worst part is i keep getting these stupid sealed cards which are never good clog my bags and take way too much time to sift through and so it just keeps like piling up up, man all right let's prestige literally it's been like five six seven days or whatever on this one build okay let's do it boom and let's do it one more time another boom so okay i got the lightning shield i think i'm gonna race change or actually faction change this guy i don't want to be horde anymore to be completely honest with you i'd much rather be a dwarf i think right now i feel like i've been sticking to the same races because we keep playing the same guy for new builds it's kind of the way this works right but I think we can change. So I've got the lightning bolt now too. It doesn't really matter at this point what I start with. Maybe charge. Maybe battle shout too. It really just comes down to do I nail my lucky cards, man? Like, unfortunately, that's it. The only thing that could be better here, by the way, is if I could replace Seal of Vengeance with Storm Strike and then over here make the uh, Seal of Vengeance be a lucky card. But I don't have a Seal of Vengeance lucky card and I definitely don't have any good goldens because, uh, first of all, even when you do go for them, they're never any good, man. The RNG should be better since you pay so much money on them but it's not so uh you know it kind of is what it is no point of complaining any further if it's not you know gonna change one thing i maybe could do is reduce how many rares i pick outside of the lucky cards but i thought i already was dude i really thought i already was i feel like
felt like that was just being unlucky. Like, I just hope Magtheridon's lair is done by the end of this video. Like, I, I don't want to shoot myself in the foot by even saying that this early. But that's really what I'd like to do. Ooh, Earthshock. That's a good one. Okay, so yeah, not only do I want to do Magtheridon's lair, guys, but I want to come top five. You know, it depends on the size of the raid, right? If it's like a 25 man, I, I would take just being on the page you know what i mean like i don't know let's see what we can do and get to 70 asap i'm gonna go ahead and join a group and uh, it's gonna be super quick i hope okay so you might be asking yourself why am i talking to you underneath stormwind right now on a dwarf character that seemingly has a perfect build. Well, my friends, let me tell you a little bit about what happened to get me up to this point. So I just leveled one to 70 on my race changed Stormborn character, and I'm sticking to what I want to do, which is bloody Maelstrom and the whole nine yards in that regard. So I went ahead and got the 70 and I did my very first mythic dungeon after theory crafting a little bit on the dummies outside of Stormwind. Turns out if you killing spree the dummy, it can bug you out and send you under the city. So hey, now you know how I got here, but I did queue. And when I queued, I got into my first mythic and did absolutely insane damage with 118 item level right now. I was super duper impressed. I am genuinely making this crap up. I don't really know how it's actually seemingly coming together. Now, okay, this build is traditionally not good single target, but I am still pumping like a madman in the AoE department. And if I could just do okay single target, enough to sneak myself into raids for loot, you know what I mean? Then I can't really be upset about it. So that is going to be the main goal. I want to show you guys in the background here just a bunch of the crazy AoE pulls. So here's one right here. I'm doing massive damage. You'll notice it goes 7, 8, even 9k sometimes, which is absolutely insane for what I'm actually trying to pump right now with the rotation. Of course, it's all over the place. You're noticing things like Storm Strike, Chain Lightning, Lightning Bolt, Bloodthirst with the Elemental Bloody Mastery crap, and we also have the Whirlwind occasionally going out. Whirlwind is more of a thing for, uh, you know, multi-targets. For single target, though, I'm pretty confident the rotation might actually just be Storm Strike into Chain Lightning or uh, Lightning Bolt, then into Bloodthirst, and then we just keep repeating that. And I think that Spell Crit's probably very, very good for this build as well, because the more I crit, you can actually see right here in the Elemental Shaman Tree, the more I crit with Lightning Bolt and Chain Lightning, the faster I reduce that cooldown of Elemental Mastery. And I really need to be doing that. It's on a one-minute cooldown, and it only lasts 15 seconds seconds. Now, as far as I can see, by the way, guys, there's literally no other way to increase the uh, duration of this. There's only the, you know, two things I'm using, Stormborn and also Avatar of Lightning, by the way. Avatar of Lightning is typically some kind of PvP, possibly even PvE, uh, Moon Chicken, you know, boomy build, but uh, because it cuts the cooldown of Elemental Mastery in half, it's actually advantageous for the melee build I'm using right now as well. Now, I don't really need Shamanistic Rage for this build, but until we actually get to a point where Elemental Mastery always resets itself because we crit that much, we basically have to use the Shamanistic Rage just to guarantee Stormborn is up 24-7. But I didn't go with Channeled Rage. Again, Avatar of Lightning, Bloody Maelstrom, naturally strong. So this is just going to be 10% more nature damage just for playing my class. And this is what I think is best. But yeah, you're seeing on the screen right now my final final single target DPS against Murmur, and uh, yeah, you can see the DPS right here actually, now that I'm in Stormwind again. We only did 3.1k, and we didn't even come in first somehow. It's just, it doesn't even make sense. That's obviously concerning, guys, because uh, obviously 3k DPS is horrible. Listen, I've been trying to make this build work forever, and the single target rotations have been killing me. I was able to land the Moonkin form, and we weren't able to get Rockbiter, but as you know, we were able to get the Storm Strike. One thing I was able to pick up to replace that, or perhaps, hopefully, replace it. I don't know if it's quite as good. It might be better. Is poisons. And so I'm using double instant poison right now on both of my fist weapons that I'm using. So we don't even have the best weapons. That could be the very first thing to think about replacing. It could be a big portion of my damage, but if you really take a look at it right here, the majority of my damage seems to be chain lightning and stormborn. And it's interesting because instant poison is not really scaling off spell bonus damage anymore. So it's like, what am I really doing with this? But it is actually 9% of my total damage. And we do crit a lot. This is a big thing guys we crit a lot with melee attacks with this build the way i've set it up which means we're going to be critting as you can see quite a lot with our instant poison now 
What do I mean? Well, I have 33% crit baseline, but if you take a look at this talent from the elemental shaman tree, I get 21%, holy crap, 21% more crit whenever I actually land a crit with chain lightning or lightning bolt, and that's really pretty insane if you think about it. That's 50% crit with my poisons. It almost makes me wonder, like, is there just a way to make this a poison spec? I don't really feel like it's outside of the realm of possibility. It is a true hybrid, though, which I've definitely got to appreciate. And, you know, as for my final REs, by the way, guys, I've gone for mental quickness, voodoo power, elemental devastation, of course, and weapon expertise to cap ourselves out. So, again... I think this build is super duper fun. It's actually like really enjoyable to play, especially now that I'm starting to understand the rotation and we've also made it up ourselves. So I'm gonna keep playing it and we'll see if we can make it any better and maybe get some loot. So I queued up for a second dungeon and once again, I was dominating an AOE, but I wasn't the absolute best this time. Sometimes I was just second sometimes third, so by dominating I just mean the AoE was good. But the single target's so bad it's not even funny. At the end of this boss, I ended up doing like 5.5k. And I'm so unhappy with that, it's actually unbelievable, because that's actually probably too good for this spec. There, there must have been something on the boss that made me do more damage there. A buff, maybe, that maybe uh, a couple of my teammates had. I don't know what it was, but on a dummy, I don't match that. So, the biggest problem I'm having with this build right now is that it just seems to suck. So, okay, guys, I'm in a weird position. Stormborn is only good in AoE, and that's fine, but I need to do better than that. Okay, one last hurrah for Stormborn. We queued up for some PvP in a full PvE set. Literally nothing good for PvP right now. Up against Car Tracks. All right, let's go. Oh, need my lightning shield. Come on, can I kill her? Because she's a freaking, uh... Oh, my God, she is a Frostbolt build, and I am a guy with no stuns or anything. Pummeled? Dude, I'm gonna win. I'm actually gonna win. Oh, wait, what the hell? Alter time? Oh, I hate that spell. Oh, no, I don't have a trinket. Oh, yikes. Okay, I don't have furious attacks either to reduce healing. Oh, no. Okay, killing spree. This is it. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, I actually just interrupted um, the Frostbolt. I think she's dead. Come on, yes. I'll take it. But okay, guys, that's going to go ahead and be the end of the video. We're going to go ahead and do the AMA and the giveaway. But what I do want to say about Stormborn is this. It's an AoE M plus spec. That's basically the gist of it. There's nothing special about the single targets. And basically, any which way you do it, you're not going to come up with anything that makes you really feel like, oh, I want to play this over, oh, well, let's say it's, you know, competitor you could say like thunder slam which has a far better single target spec out on the market right now so i'm going to put my m plus spec in the discord and you can check that out if you want something that can do good aoe but i'm really kind of hoping that ascension looks at this enchant again specifically maybe giving it a permanent cut in half cooldown for storm strike that might be really really good but hey that's just one little idea we'll see what they come up with if anything. All right, guys, quick AMA for the video. Blanket Party says, would you please get the devs to balance Booming Thunder? It's getting to be so cringe seeing the easiest build on the planet be so unbalanced. Hey, man, um, listen, I think we all kind of hope a balanced pass comes soon. Spec balance is all over the place. It doesn't mean that people haven't created really unique builds, obviously, that are really, really strong. It's just that there are so many bad builds that don't make sense you know like why why would one build as you're kind of saying take no skill to play and do first place dps when another build that takes like literally forever just to get like stormborn man uh, that you put so much effort into in days and it's just it's not gonna get to the same distance despite clicking more buttons and putting more thought into the build so i feel you but i do think they're gonna do something i have faith in them we'll see i'll give them a month and uh, if we don't see anything in a month, I'm going to be really, really scared. All right, Alec Shockowitz, uh, thoughts on lack of agility builds in the game? Here's what I think. There are actually a lot of agility builds in the game. There's no lack at all. The problem in many ways is that they all feel kind of underwhelming, to me at least. I mean, we just played one with Stormborn, and a lot of the builds where you can go agi, you could have a strength variant of it that's just better a lot of the time because of the raw AP. I don't know, it's really interesting, but like shadow agi stuff, like it's more of a balance thing, not a variety thing. Silver Sage, by the way, says, why don't you play free pick? You would eliminate all the frustration of rerolls, not getting your build, and you could play the build you're going for is it just a content thing the added drama or is it a preference thing uh it's actually probably mostly a content thing i think we're all kind of over draft mode and wild card and we're hoping something good
episode comes out like I told you guys they told me season 8 is supposed to be a really really big deal for us and so that's really hype but who knows when that's coming out but yeah the reason I don't just build something is because that's too easy it's just simply too easy like anybody will end up being able to figure it out at the end of the day and then a really specific meta comes out of that I do think Ascension needs a lot of changes right now though I don't think it's in its best state so I will just say that but okay thank you guys for the questions I really do enjoy doing it I'm just trying to keep it you know uh small and tight knit in the video anyway guys let's go ahead and go into the giveaway all right guys let's go ahead and put in the link I do just want to say we are obviously doing the giveaway for the next video as well and all you have to do if you want to win that is leave your in game name in the comment section below and I'm going to be giving away two chests one big boy chest one little boy chest uh in the next video so two people have a chance to get one from this video if you leave a comment and like so there you go I uh, just uh, I got some more free stuff I got to give it out fast okay let's see what we can do pick a winner tube red I'm trying white walker tank and it's just amazing fun bro I just read your comment actually uh when I was sifting through comments for my channel so it's cool to see that you won uh from I think it's pronounced Joe ear joer uh okay on the alar server that's sick tube red man i'm glad you won and white walker tank sounds like a freaking whole lot of fun all right so let's see what we can do let's send your guy a reborn supporter war chest and you know what you in particular holy sh oh my god that's a beautiful sword well let's see do i have a mog that would go good with uh what you were telling me you play thanks to uh, valvia by the way giving me a bunch of these things to potentially give away to you guys uh i just want to find one that would go good with that guy's uh white walker tank oh white walker and then you could use the blade of the night warden with a back sheath and it's blue yeah, dude, I think that actually works. Okay, I'm going to give you that and the chest. All right, man, you got a little something extra today. Hope you enjoy the sword for your White Walker tank mog. GG, bro. But okay, guys, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a like and a subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one where I can guarantee you we're going to have an actual good build that pulls good DPS. I don't care if it's a build we've played before. I need to get into Magtheridon's lair, so it's going to happen. And I need to get more updated gear and actually start progressing. I cannot keep leap frogging from underpowered build to underpowered build so anyway guys like i said see you in the next one like and subscribe hit the notification button mcdoubles out <laughs>